Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, or perhaps listening. This is Running On Empty Food Review, and I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Well, first things first, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm not feeling the best today, admittedly. I, I just want to get that out there right now. It, it's just been one of those days, you know, we all have them. It's one of those days for me, uh, where I've just had a, an intensifying uh, headache. I would, I would even call it on the verge of a migraine at this point. You know, it's just getting worse and worse as it goes on, the pounding behind the eyes. Uh, but nonetheless, I said, there's a new item out. I had gotten it, and you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what needs to be done, and uh, do a review. So, I'll try my best. And, uh, nonetheless, even if it's not up to the usual standards, I promise you, I'll do my best to get an accurate review sent your way. Now, this is for a new product from, uh, Wendy's. It's called their Bacon Maple Chicken Sandwich. And the name alone is one of those things that would really throw me off, to be, uh, quite honest. I would, I don't know, just part of me inherently wants to call it the Maple Bacon chicken sandwich, and I imagine a lot of you will as well. I know when I went ahead and uh, ordered this, I, I ordered it the wrong way. I said, you know, I want to get the maple uh, bacon chicken sandwich, but it's called the bacon maple, whatever. You know, a name is a name, and that's all that there is to it. What does it have on it? Comes with a maple glaze, so it's supposed to be like a, uh, not necessarily just barbecue, just a kind of a, a sweet glaze on this sandwich. A uh, fried chicken patty, you know, so it's going to be like a breaded fried chicken patty, and it's going to have this maple glaze on top of it. It's going to have three strips of bacon, some cheese, and then it's going to come on a toasted croissant bun. It's an interesting combination. I have to give them credit for that. It sounds pretty good. You know, there's some things from Wendy's that I'll I'll, you know, I'll get, I'll be, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not a fan of the, uh, idea or whatnot, but this one sounds really good. $5.99 is the price, and, uh, we've either upgraded or downgraded, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but we went over to post-it notes, too. It's not a post-it note, it's a, it's a card. <clears throat> Index cards today. Nonetheless, here it is. Let me turn the, oops, let me turn, there we go. I tell you, up here it gets a lot colder, so it still has some of its heat, but don't be surprised if it doesn't look oven fresh, because 30 degree air will do that to you. I can still feel that warmth though, so that's good. Anyway, here's what it looks like. You can see right there, and I turn the focus off, so in due time when the camera wants to, it, it has no other choice. There you go. That's what it looks like. It's kind of, it's funny. You could almost, it's indistinguishable, quite frankly, <laughs> the, uh, the chicken from the croissant. But there you can see, there's the croissant. There's the chicken patty and the bacon on top. Interesting, though. Gotta say. You can see, there's the, let's wait for it. All right, let's not. You can see there's the bacon and the, uh, you know, the cheese and the, the chicken. You can see all of the ingredients that I mentioned. There it is. There it is. And there I am with it. So, and this is what we got. The uh, bacon maple chicken sandwich from Wendy's. It's a very puffy croissant bun. I gotta give them credit on that. Either way, I'll try it, let you know what it tastes like, and that's all that we have for you. So, bacon maple chicken sandwich from Wendy's going in.
That's what a napkin looks like. Not many people have ever seen one of those things before. <clears throat> almost, almost. <coughs> I knew I was. The autofocus was just so intense. I just, I just had to leave it because I feel that that was more climactic than perhaps I was <coughs> in today's uh, review. Here's what it tastes like. I have... I'll keep it short this time around. I have only one issue and one issue only. I think that maple glaze on it is great. I think that's I think that's a great addition, and uh, they did they did a good job with it. I I, I cannot complain. Uh, they did a good job with it. It just goes really well with the bacon. Goes well with the chicken. If the chicken feed weather happens to be a little bit dry, uh, that will add any moisture. And it's delicious. I mean, it just has that. It is like a like a maple barbecue type of glaze. Not overwhelmingly sweet, not overwhelmingly savory. A good mix in between, and just a, a great a great sauce for this sandwich. Ties it all together. The cheese is is fine, no issues. The chicken patty from Wendy's. I always I always enjoy. Uh, I always like to get the chicken sandwiches when it comes down to Wendy's. Believe it or not, more than their burgers, I like the chicken sandwich. So they did a good job with that, you know, a pretty solid uh, chicken patty. Could have, you know, it was a little on the drier side, but again, well, it's very likely at no fault but my own, uh, because I had to get over here and it was just very cold, cold, cold air today. That's why I'm going with the sweater, sweater vest today. But anyway, so uh, everything goes together well. Only issue is the croissant bun. And while it tastes fine, it, it just, it's not as flaky, I think, as, as many croissants are. Like, when I, whenever I go to Starbucks, I always like to get the butter croissant from there. And it's just this flaky, buttery croissant. It's great. Uh, this, on the other hand, was a lot more dense. It was a lot thicker. And as a result, especially that bottom bun, while it gives the illusion of being nice and puffy and fluffy, uh, it's, it, it's just more, more bread, so to speak, than I would... Uh, necessarily want on this sandwich. If they were to cut down on that just a little bit, I think they they would have hit the nail on the head, and I would say that it's just a, a really good sandwich. I mean, I gotta give them credit. It's one of those things that just goes together really well, in my opinion, and uh, despite any bun issues, I recommend you check it out. Price for this was around uh, $6 for the sandwich, which is a little pricey, but it's around your standard Wendy's price. Therefore, out of 10, I'm going to be giving it I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10, because if my only complaint is the bun, it goes to show that it's not a bad sandwich at all. So give it a try if you're interested, and also if there's something you want to try out, uh, well, check out my newest radio show. You can find it on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com slash vorw underscore radio underscore int. And ask yourself this, what do I have to lose? Well, maybe you have a lot to lose. Maybe you don't. And see, I'm just I'm just going on a on a gamble here, and I'm assuming you you have nothing to lose. But maybe you do. But if you don't have anything to lose, check it out. Maybe you'll enjoy the show. Some good talk, discussion, and music. It's there for you. You know, that's all that I'll say. Thank you. Take care, and I hope to uh, join you again in a in a few more days. Hopefully, feeling a little bit better. That's all, and do take care.